Hello there guys and welcome, Otto here once again. Just to let you know what we're doing with you today is just giving you a bit of a, a walkthrough um, through Wolfpack, giving everybody a little bit of a education lesson in that sense about various ports on the ship. We will have a little mini series of five little episodes um, of training lessons for new players and some maybe some experienced players that want to learn a few tricks okay so what we're gonna do first of all is take out the U564 jump in the mission and I'm gonna show you just around the ship first of all okay so here we are then first of all in the control room so first thing that I'm gonna do is just have a quick look to see what's around first of all before we move on okay so OP of the mission periscope up and a quick scan around obviously we have found convoy and we are going their direction no big deal at the moment <clears throat> right so I'm gonna start off from not the very front of the ship but the front part to where we uh, well what we have unlocked so far so this is the captain's quarters first of all um, various imagery and uh, propaganda and things in here which is quite decent then this right here is the radio room radio room will consist of the enigma machine you'll have the radio which can change settings on there you have the telegraph key you will have the radio direction finder rotation and then you will have right up here which is radio direction finder okay which you would select various channels at the moment that is not active but it will be very very soon telegraph key and enigma does work you can also select various channels here so obviously record player you can select well pretty much uh, radio room control room conning tower bridge and um, this is going to give you current time in the day in the mission this is your rudder left and right so port and starboard and these are your revs per minute on each engine okay which sometimes on some particular things is very key to take a bit of a note of that and I'll explain why later in a different video this is obviously the hydro uh, hydrophone this is where you're going to detect any type of sound under the water providing your hydrophone detector is underwater and that's located on the forward uh, part of the ship on top deck I'll show you exactly where that is later so <coughs> here we go straight through the hole and like I said here is basically your port and starboard engines we have the rudder control here this is where you're going to tell your speed on how many knots you are doing this is your battery life just bear in mind guys when you look at the engines and so on and you're dealing with them press shift and select whichever one you want to go on more importantly the inner which is all black they are the ones to go forward the one on the outside is going astern, so that would pretty much make your ship go backwards, okay? Just so you're aware of that. So, over here is the planes, that's forward, and aft plane. This is where you would dive up to 25 meters, anything past that it will be shown on here, which will go from 0 to 200 plus. These are, like I said, the uh, starboard engine and port engine revs which we'll take a, a detailed look about that later and I'll tell you why you might need to know it so here the odometer this is where you can reset the meters and that's very crucial when you're underwater okay but we'll explain that in a different video also navigation map so it would look like this okay you zoom in select particular things here and there and draw lines and plot courses of the other convoy this is a magnetic compass this will tell you exactly where you are relative well you, re, relative on the on your ship's location the course you're heading okay so once again current time up there as well so lights night lights on off here as well before i move around there we're going to go here to ballast tank pressure valve this is going to be an interesting video for you the next one this ballast tank pressure valve is where you are going to input ballast or water fill your tanks up so you can begin to dive okay so as you can see it's on zero they will go down to 50 and that's the forward and back okay we're probably left and right actually um 
This here is your compressed air. The compressed air is what you need to expel the water when you want to rise, okay? And you just turn this by this here to blow it out. To open, well actually to put water into that, you would use this forward ballast vent and a rear ballast vent located at the back of the ship there. This right here is negative pressure. Um, with this being said, you can fill up that to 4.5 and that will drop you like a stone in an emergency dive. Right, so what I'm going to do now at this point then with you. This is where you're going to locate the compressor. The compressor is when you use your compressed air to expel the water, when you are on the surface you would use this to put compressed air back in, which can also locate there. The bilge pump. This bilge pump is for you to expel excess water from your, from your ship when you have dived underwater and you're getting droplets within the ship, okay? So Echo Ranger, at this moment in time there is no seabed in the game so you cannot detect how deep you are, or sorry, how far you are from the surface. So, right, what we're going to do now at this moment in time, we are going to move up on the ladder and we are going to go to the conning tower. The conning tower, you would pretty much press left or right and then right click and you will come off onto this conning tower level. So you can control the engines here as well, rudder here also, but you don't have um, a compass to let you know what course you're going on. This is what's known as TDC, Torpedo Data Computer. This is where you would put in your, in, uh, your target speed, torpedo depth, select angle tracking, which is off AP, and so on. We'll go through all this in another video, and you can select one torp or salvos. Length, range, angle on bow, and time to impact is key. And also, in that sense, impact angle, okay? And gyro angle, just, just for information in that sense. This is also the attack periscope, which you can lift up and you can lift the height to where you want it to or fully extend it, okay? Which is very good if you are dived, but not to a certain level. So what I'm going to do now at your point then with you is take you upstairs up in the hatch. So we're now up on the bridge, okay? So first thing you notice right there is this uh, radio location antenna. It doesn't work yet, but it just rotate and it doesn't stow away. Um, you've got a negative, uh, sorry, a magnetic compass there as well, and one here also. I don't know why this is raised that high, I think it should be lower down, but just for purposes so far, it's there. So we've got the Uzo, this is where you can also track your targets and launch torpedoes from here also, okay? So you can also steer the ship there on the rudder controls. This is where your OP telescope, observation ter telescope, will rise from. And that's one where the attack periscope will come from. So here we have anti-aircraft gun. Uh, no planes in the game yet, but I do know that they have tested them before, but they're just taking them away, so they might be working on those on some fine-tuning. So to the back, this is the aft of the boat, the submarine. Uh, so as you can walk over there, it gets really loud, and then because that's where the engines are, you can see all the smoke coming out, the diesel engines. So you can go down these ladders here, left or right, or port or starboard, um, and you can go to, well actually on this deck, so this is going to be the deck gun. So deck gun, you can select range by W and S, and it is also key to get somebody in the telescope to get a range of a particular target so you can line that shot up straight away, get the right range and send it in. So off towards the bow part of the ship, this right here is your hydrophone detector, okay? Sorry, yeah, so with a hydrophone detector that has to be fully submerged underwater for it to work. The less engine power you have or turn it off, obviously you won't be picking up your own engines in that sense and you should be able to detect these here. And I'll give you a detailed video at some point in terms of how to uh, one tracker co uh, convoy by hydro and two get their speed and that is not just by speed on their distance of travel I am talking about the propeller noise rotations per 10 seconds and I'll go through that with, with you on a different video 
So you have it guys, that is the ship so far. Um, what I'd appreciate you to do is just follow the next videos and double and have a quick watch and let me know about any feedback or anything that I may have got wrong on them um, and we'll try and improve and so on and correct them at a later date. But as for now, I'm going to end this video. Do watch out for episode 2. That we are going to be looking at uh, the diving and ballast tanks and obviously uh, looking at looking at your your helm changes and that since your course and so on as well so we'll look at all that so i appreciate you watching guys and i'll see you on the next episode